With almost $1 million in unpaid fines, the City of Pikeville has let Suddenlink's franchise agreement expire as they work on a new agreement with Intermountain Cable. The streets of the City of Pikeville had <coughs> earlier franchises, but this is the last uh, franchise that we granted them. Off and on over the years, we have some technical problems with sudden link, and it, usually the city finds out about that because we get uh, customer complaints called into the city. In March of 2020, the city surveyed sudden link customers and found many had poor customer relationships, poor quality of service, and issues getting timely service. Uh, interesting enough, sudden link didn't present any uh, evidence at this hearing um, for, for whatever reasons. Um, Really, since that time, um, uh, nothing really has been done or done, at least as far as Suddenlink has notified the city that they have uh, corrected any of these violations. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. The Pikeville City Commission held a public hearing in July of 2020 that determined Suddenlink to be in violation of their franchise agreement. There's uh, basically 19 separate uh, uh, violations of our or 14 separate violations of the ordinance as determined by the commission that assesses a daily fine between $100 and $200. As of February 2nd, Suddenlink has amassed over $936,000 in fines, with $100 and $200 fines being added daily. There's times that I've called and it says they're uh, busy and you'll have to call back at a later time. Uh, you know, our ordinance requires that they a complaints for service interruptions or service problems. Um, there are times when I have personally called myself and would be uh, initially told that, well, a service tech wouldn't be able to come out for a week or two. And that's just not compliant with our ordinance if they're supposed to address that. As the city let their contract with Suddenlink expire, they have signed a contract with Intermountain Cable to build high-speed fiber optic cable networks within the city. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.